Hey, Basha. I don't know. I feel a freshness, you know. I feel a freshness, people of God. I believe that as long as I love Jesus, he's going to continue to open up his word. He's going to continue to make it uh, ever so real. That as I teach and preach the word, you do more than hear words. You understand that you're dealing with one who can be trusted because it's not another gospel. It's the gospel of Jesus. Jesus! As I look upon each of you, I think everyone in here is a Christian. And so right away, I just want to jump to asking this question. Are you ready to tell it, talk it, testify it, take it to somebody this week? Who's going to stand? I'm going to give me a conk. I'm going I'm to give, 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 give a conk. I'm, I'm going to give a conk. I'm going to put it in a box. Probably put it on Facebook. Say one and two. Everybody that I tell about Jesus. Sometimes I don't know. You, you go to church? Okay, all right. Then, then sometimes they have a feeling where I'm going. So they say yes. And then I say, oh, who's your pastor? They don't know. And it sounds to me like you ain't convinced about your church again. Don't know your pastor. <laughs> Listen to me, church. Hear this by the Spirit. Be more concerned with winning others to the kingdom. And then you will see results in your family. If you start, if you keep it with your family, they're too close to your emotions, man. They're going to break you down. You even got the pastor into saying, oh, Jesus, help me, Jesus. Jesus. So here's the thing. People follow a crowd. Go after somebody else. A lot of people are. A lot of people I found out this week, more people that are just tired of church. He ain't tried to learn, but they're just tired of church, especially since the COVID thing. They discovered they don't need church, they need. But they do, because they're watching us. <laughs> Come on in. Now, the reason, I've said it before, it's no secret. The reason that we need more people is because we've got to change Bermuda. We gotta change our little neighborhood, our 20 mile neighborhood. I will not believe that the darkness of demonic destructive forces can stand against the light of Jesus Christ. So you're standing with me. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, We've heard your word, heard from uh, the Apostle Paul, one who was fully indoctrinated by the law and then was fully delivered to you by grace to faith so that he could spread the gospel. Yeah. And God, we need that power, that encouragement right now. It's not to be a show off, it's to show who you are. Oh, that the light of the glorious gospel will be shed abroad. <laughs> so God, I thank you. I thank you, God, for your plan and the many souls that you have already waiting for us to open our mouths to. And at that point in time, I thank you that we shall speak. Amen. And we shall tell them. Hallelujah. And that we will leave a lingering impact and effect, of, effect with them. Yeah. That even after we leave their presence, they will still be feeling there's something different about them. And God, for those that need a church home, need to be shepherded, need their soul watched over, we thank you for those that shall accompanying this place called Shekinah Worship Center. And that we will boldly speak the kingdom. Yes, we shall. We will boldly proclaim your son, Jesus Christ. Oh, yes. Because he is our Lord and Savior. So, God, we thank you. We 
thank you for the Holy Spirit that will embolden us and we will yield to the Spirit. Have your way. Thank you, God. Thank you. And we all say amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Draw me Too 
can be changed from darkness into a life of living in the light. God can do this for you if you turn over your life to him. Thank God for grace. We are no longer under the law of man. That's right. Don't let anyone take away your shine. Mm-hmm. Shine for Jesus. Oh, got that point. All right. This great plan was given for as many as want the blessing. Don't turn him away. We must no longer sit down and say nothing when we see the evil planned out. Get high on life. Hey. Good afternoon, church. Good afternoon. Can we all stand? And we depart to a life of consistent prayer. We depart to meditate on and study the word of God. We depart to obey the word of God in our daily lives. We depart to share our testimonies and win souls. We depart to reign in life as kings and priests of the Lord Jesus Christ. We depart to conquer evil and show forth the love of God in a dying world. Jude 24, 25. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling, Present you faultless before the presence, presence of the glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, to glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. Amen.